Now would you look at that? Go back. And grab those arms. Go around the stick. The backstory actually tells you what this is, but I went from the wrong angle this time. This is the energy beam that is stopping the evil demon jar. It's a blue eco beam. Because blue eco basically equals electricity. Firing that at a windmill is a great idea. Those power doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go through with them. <laughs> Yeah, he, he just said basically these. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. These towers, you aim it at the next one. The next one shines. It's like shiny, shiny, shiny. And then you just keep redirecting the beam around the forest. Apparently following the beam allows you to find the next tower, but we are going to go this way. To do a special thing. Yeah, I opened the bridge, but I didn't care. Um, if Blue Eco can build a bridge, then I bet it'll open a door. Let's go back and get you juiced up again. <laughs> okay. Blue Eco will open that door. I could have told you that. But, in fact, I just did, even though Daxter did it before me, but whatever. Those open again. If you go round the side of this tower, jump up here. There. Camera. Okay, go around this way. Yeah, it's a scout fly. Scout fly. You're gonna have to deal with my singing terrible. Grab this. It's like yay. This goes up here. One of these has more blue eco. So you take your blue eco and go up. You go up with your blue eco. And you're like, ah, oh, yay. Yay, blue eco. Scout fly. How many? Five. Yeah. <laughs> Comes up on the screen and I'm like, how many does that make? <laughs> A level in maths, I have, yeah, I'm that good. I don't even know what five is. I don't have that many fingers on one hand. Ah, I fell down. And there you go, I'm dead. Oh, it's mine. Ah, uh, I've one back here. I'd cut for you, but doing that, like, takes like some fun editing magic, and I can't do that. Anywho, the precursor off we didn't get up here, so, you know, it wasn't a whole loss. Uh, it shouldn't take me long to get back there. Ugh. Oh, what? Oh, what? Just run into things. Great job, Andrew. This is useless at this game. Not that I'm useless, it's just, you know. I'm not a great gamer, I just complete games quickly. Everyone thinks like, Andrew, you must be really good because you beat games quickly. No, I just spend, I probably spend the same amount of time as you playing them. It's just, I don't stop playing them, so, you know, my 12 hours happen to be over in two days, whereas yours are in like, a subsequent, ah, no, I didn't grow up. Mine's like, yours is like over a few days. Mine's just in about two. Hi, Joe. He splits his legs like a um, crash as well when he does the high jump. Kind of cool, is it? Like crash as well. I mean, I know I'm pointing out the similarities between him and crash, but technically crash is a scroll and I still it's fine. Although, well, in a gaming sense, crash is a scroll runner. In the story sense, he is his own forerunner, for reasons that will be explained in Jack Free. Jack Free has cutscenes that have, um, not cutscenes. Subtitles, that's it, subtitles on cutscenes. That's what we have. Another bunch of camps. Go down. We already have nine power cr crystals. Crystals? Power tiles? I'm calling crystals. We already have five power doodly doodly. We, we now have batteries, whatever. Call batteries now. <laughs> I don't know the name of them. Call batteries. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Be quiet. <laughs> uh, circle is like your best friend in this because it allows you to spin. Spinning allows you to live. Now, uh, yeah. They like elongate your jump, which is quite useful if you ever open it. Yeah, another one. 
Daxter does a moonwalk and a pirouette and strikes Saturday Night Fever. This is what I was talking about, what Cairo was talking about here. That is true, but they are like much later on in the game with the other eco events. But these ones, because we can now, we're gonna do this. Whoa! Those precursor rods, yeah. We were enough to buy those two things, but not more enough to buy. Ah, oh, I fell down a hole. Here's the buying the hole with like two feet away. Again, we Going up, going down. Blue Eco is fun because it stops you having to get like precursor things. You don't have to keep collecting the orbs, you kind of gravitate to you. Which makes it this is the first boss. He's going to fire out an aphid, the aphid's going to get spikes. You then need to just wait for it to lose spikes. That'll try and bite you but during the time of the aphid. Then it just reveals its face for some reason and slap it in it. Next time it sends up two ways big type things. Spin into them rather than dash attack because it means you don't like dart forward, get bitten or something. Like any typical old school boss, three hits and it dies. This isn't an old school game, but see I dash then and that happened. But it's not an old school game, but it's a nice, fun platformer. Rated E for everyone, and then later on becomes 12 because they give him a gun, but they give him a gun in a sense that you really can't. It's not bad. Jumping on this guy's head gives you more precursor orbs, and then when it doesn't, it's just fun to jump on his head. We gave out a power cell. There you go. I called it the right thing. It's not a crystal, it's a cell. Yeah, baby. There we go. Juice up. Let's go. Okay, where do we go to next for the redirecting of the... I think it's this way. Now we're going to redirect the windmill thing? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's over here, isn't it? Is it? I think it's over here. There's a snake. That looks like it should be from Jungle Book. I think it should be from Jungle Book. <laughs> it looks like it's from Jungle Book. Okay, so we're on. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> There's a scout fly. Wow, I've already got snakes. Almost be done. This dude. Grab your you know, podium. You have to wait for that to come back up, so most of the time you're like whizzing it round when you just have to click it and it's like done. The next tower is just up there, which is not very far away at all. Which is pretty daft. So we're gonna go stand, jump a bit. Grab that one before I forget. Because this is a hundred percent run, you might find me just kind of blanking on some stuff, or like because I'm gonna click in the off, but I haven't mastered editing, like cutting it. Well, you can do it when it's that small. I did not know that. I thought it had to get higher though. It normally does. That's weird. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Where we go? Going up to nine I am actually aware that YouTube has increased their time rate, but I will prefer to keep the part shorter just because it's like smaller uploads just in case. You know, my computer's not that great. Plus, it's fun. What are my other two games? I'm just thinking. I did Gauntlet 7 Sorrows with Phil. And that was fun. That was a hack and flash. Oh, I found all three cursor orbs. Yay! There's no power cell. Power cell guest. Um, I did kills all, and I did zone of the enders. Stax is thinking I'm awesome because I found all the scout flags. Next one's there. 
There you go. Uh, blind my eyes. I could try and push the time limit, but I'm not going to. So, next is Jolly Pirate. We're going to end this part. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, send this in. So, we are a pirate. There we go. We're ending this part here.